Hello friends, good morning and good evening everyone. This is uh, ALP here. So today we are going to discuss this uh, IS2026 part 5. This is a review to the standard. So what are the different parameters are there in this standard? We are going to discuss line by line. So have some patience with and uh, watch this video till the end so that you will get some uh, better understanding. Yes, of course you also can read it. Yes, uh, but uh, let's uh, be with me so that you can get some better understanding of the standard. So this standard is uh, about uh, power transformers part 5 ability to withstand short circuit. So this, uh, this was proposed by ETD 16 and transformer division of BIS. So standards committee. So let's go to the topic. This, uh, this standard is uh, publicly available for everyone. So power transformers ability to withstand short circuit. Yeah, already part one I covered in one of the video. You can go through it and uh, you can observe, observe the standard. So here you can see I'm uh, repeating again. Part one is general, part two is temperature rise. Part 3 is insulation, dielectric test and external clearance is in aid. And uh, part 4 is thermal marking and tapping connections. Part 7 is loading guide of oil filled uh, uh, power transformers. Part 8 is uh, application guide. Part 10 is a determination of uh, sound level. So those, this, this is about this uh, details guys. So let's go into the details. Uh, so this is the main page uh, power transformers part 5. So what are the main things uh, you have to take care in this uh, standard? So it, this standard will specify different uh, aspects. I mean, what are the main things you have to consider uh, for while, desi while designing uh, power transformers or transformers and while testing, what are the main precautions we have to take care. So uh, mainly you have uh, three different categories of transformers. I'm not going each and everything. Uh, I'm discussing in a summary manner. So mainly category one, category two, category three, you have uh, three different categories. Uh, so 25 KVA to 2500 KVA and 25012 uh, uh, 100 MEA and then above 100 MEA is a uh, category 3. So for each, th these are the three different categories. So uh, the standard also proposes the minimum impedance required for each KVA basis. For example, here you can see short circuit impedance at rated current. So if this is the rated power, for example, from 25 KVA to 630 KVA, 4% is the minimum recommended impedance. This is based on short circuit current and everything. So uh, these values we can follow. So from uh, 1250 to 2500 it is 6%, 2500 to 6300 it is 7% and up to 25 MEA it is 8%, up to 40, 40 MEA it is 10%, up to 63 MEA it is 11%, up to 100 MEA it is 12.5%. Above that it is generally based on agreement with the customer and manufacturer uh, they can uh, design. But yes, uh, for any case based on the fault current requirements so customer can go on voltage regulation requirements customer can go for uh, any 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 type of uh, impedance i mean any other value as a customer can go so you have uh, short circuit apparent power uh, so the, this is the short circuit apparent power uh, so if if the customer is not specifying anything to you then you can consider short circuit apparent power as per uh, this table for example here you have up to 24 kV you have 500 MEA this is as per European practice up to for, for 36 kV it is a uh, thousand MEA for 52 and 72 point kV it is a uh, 3000 MEA so like this uh, you have a uh, uh, circuit apparent power so you can consider this if customer is specifying any short circuit apparent power based on uh, his conditions then we can choose that yeah so this is about this guys so you have um, um, other parameters to take care for example here you have a symmetrical short circuit current calculation so you can use this formula for calculating symmetrical short circuit current so u by root 3 into zt plus zs here zs is the short circuit impedance of the system so for the, the system where the transformer is going to install so that is of the system so here you have a us is nothing but a rated voltage of system and the short circuit apparent power of the system is s by using uh, like this you can calculate zs and similarly you have zt zt is a transformer uh, impedance but you have to convert into the base value but this is of like star equivalent you can use this formula zt and you can use this and you can calculate uh, so you will get zt and zs based on that you can calculate this uh, short circuit symmetrical current yeah so 
that much current uh, the transformer should be able to withstand without any disturbances without any deformations without any bulging or buckling or uh, uh, break breakdown or anything in the kind of transformer winding there should not be any unwanted forces whenever this much current flows through the transformer so th th there is some uh, classes for example here you can see thermal ability so when the transformer conductor is uh, of, uh, covered all the insulation in the transformer is class a then the allowed temperature is 180 degree as per IS2026 we can say 180 degree so beyond 180 degree we should not allow so how to calculate whether it is 180 or not so there is this is the uh, one of the formula given by the IS standard this is also similar to IEC so here theta naught plus 2 into theta naught plus 235 by 106 uh, triple zero j square t minus 1 this is for copper similarly you have another formula for aluminium also so you can use this formula here all terms are very simple theta naught is initial temperature and uh, j square is current density during short circuit conditions and theta t is a temperature how much duration you want this to happen yeah so here you have another parameters you can check those things so this is one of the main thing so whether your transformer that is uh, so we be able to withstand or not you can just uh, check with this uh, this is not for the dynamic but this is for thermal i mean the conductor will melt or not if this much current flows through it so this is not only for designer but anyone can use it uh, any customer can use it for assessing the transformer the designer can use it for checking uh, whether whatever he considered it is good or not anyone can use this formula and uh, they can check it whether the chosen conductor cross section and everything is correct or not good or not so they can assess it yeah you have a uh, uh, asymmetrical current component also so the asymmetrical current component is you can calculate by simply multiplying with a k root 2 k root 2 is one of the figure so though this is the one of this is a uh, one of the table you can observe here so this table we will use uh, uh, for calculating asymmetrical current simply we will multiply with uh, the value so whatever x by r value is there for example if x by r is 8 then you should multiply that uh, whatever it we calculated with the 2.38 this is interpolation so we, you can use the interpolated here you have uh, uh, some of the values so for category 2 it is 1.8 into root 2 for category 3 1.9 into root 2 they given some default parameters and uh, for below range you can, you can use this table yeah so this is the setup guys so this is very simple setup uh, test setup so star or delta connected transformer so you have a transformer here so how they are going to yet i mean how they are going to apply the short circuit so you can watch it here yeah so generally uh, lv is shorted and we will apply voltage on h v side so that is like a preset short circuit yeah so let's see other points this, whatever we discussed till now that is the main major points so you have uh, some other points also i mean uh, what are the, the uh, different uh, Im impacts on the transformer so you can go through these uh, remaining points also yeah so the, uh, in this standard they have they given some different conditions uh, for uh, checking similarity of the transformer for example one transformer is uh, ac tested you have another transformer with you how you can uh, check it whether the transformer also will pass or not so they given some conditions here so if you go through these conditions then you can uh, assess uh, assess it whether the transformer will pass or not so this is for uh, ensuring uh, we, we, this is we can say like a design review concept so compare so this is the table uh, we can check we can check with the uh, different uh, forces uh, so what is the actual value for your design what is the calculated value if, uh, and uh, you, you can compare it whether it is critical or not so uh, you can arrive uh, some uh, some conclusion based on this this is also another table we can just refer it yeah so this is the guys this is what i want to share to you so you have some other uh, small stuff here you can use these uh, calculations for uh, ensuring healthiness of the transformer i mean short circuit uh, proof transformer yeah thank you guys thanks for watching this is about this IS2026 part 5. If you have any questions or comments or anything, then please comment in comment section. If you have any doubts or anything, please comment it. If you want to be a part of uh, this channel, 
so please comment it so that uh, i can go, go through your profile and uh, we can plan some session share the knowledge guys thank you thanks for watching we will meet in next video bye